Okay, so before we start this episode, take a look at this. It says that for this game, 64-bit is no longer available as of July 34th. It's not saying that, but it might as well say it. So last year on July the 31st, they stopped supporting 64, which is ridiculous because that is the best way to go. That's HD for you. Hardly any phones don't have HD these days anyway. Anyway, so, yeah. When it comes to computer, you definitely want both 32 and 64. And the reason for that is because a lot of games did not get HD remastered. I mean, well, some of them got remastered to the point that the game wasn't even the same game. But a lot of them got updated to... Have better, smoother graphics. Well, they weren't exactly all that bad, but they weren't exactly all that great com in comparison to what we have today. Um, Final Fantasy VII, you know, especially Advent Children, was pretty awesome. The remake. That's all I gotta say about that. And it's not because of the graphics, but. <laughs> I'm not going to go into it. I'm just not going to go into it. Anyway. So, if you're wondering, you know, I mean, you know, oh, what in the hell now? Thank you. I hate being interrupted. So, yeah, I got Netflix up here. I put 7Z zipper because it also helps to have that on there. Um... If you can get it for free, if you got to pay for it, it ain't worth it to me. I'm not going to sit here and support something that's going to just stop ads. If I have to buy the program for the computer, then I will buy the program for the computer. But I'm not going to do it to stop ads or go to a professional version. I don't want a professional version. I don't even care about the updates, okay? I just need something plain and simple to run the games with. Period. Without it, ain't it ain't just it ain't it. Anyway, so apparently, one weather is a bad thing. I don't know. I cannot uninstall that. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh well. Says something about uninstalling it now or something. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, anyway, I can never get Final Fantasy Bravest again. Unless I can get something that'll let me play it. Otherwise, it's done. An iPhone hardly does anything. And I mean anything. From mobile. I literally... You can sit there and play. You can set up your iPhone like a gum Android, all you want to. But until they introduce uh, cross-play into it where you can actually take your saved data from your Android, you don't have to actually reload everything and actually have to put out money when it's not necessary, when you already just did that, then it ain't going to be worth it. You know? Especially on games you've already paid. It's ridiculous to have to pay it. You know, I... I mean, I understand. In some cases. But, like, when I say, like, like a console, you want to put on your iPhone, but you can't put it... Because you don't want to put it on your Android. Well, there you go. <laughs> you know? Anyway, I'm so tired. But yeah, you know, when you charge up a phone, a lot of people don't know this, but 
you don't have to worry about it when you're sleeping. Chances are it'll probably be longer than it probably should be. But if you use your phone, not as much as a lot of people do, then at 50% and or 40, anywhere between there and there is when you should start charging your phone up anyway, because you're going to be using your phone anyway. And no matter how little you may use it, it's still going to go down. And uh, to keep it fully charged, you know, but if you're using it, where regardless whether you're using it for games or all the above or just not even without it, you're still going to want to charge it at least 60, anywhere from 60 to 70. Depends on how much you're still using, because otherwise it will drain it all the way down to 15% within a matter of minutes or, you know, even an hour. I'm not even kidding. I have been through this so many times on so many devices iPhone and Android included. I have done this. Well, I mean, not included, but they're, you know, on both of the devices. I've done that. I don't know about iPad, but, you know, definitely uh, tablet. I've done, you know, 15% because I was using so much of it at a time. To run everything. And I wasn't doing it at the same time, but it doesn't really matter. You know, I could even have one app and it'd be draining it. Because I got all other apps and I'm also switching between them. I like to switch between A and Netflix. I really don't care that much for apps, to be honest with you. I, apps are the, one of the worst things that's facing us right now on our mobile devices. Now... It depends on the, the hard drive itself. Phones like these are always going to be the worst exception to have apps on. Because the more you have, the more you got to delete. Or just don't even bother. You put it on there. Because you're, you're going to be one of those people that really don't want to give it up because you're enjoying that app. And you really don't want to sacrifice something just to bring it back. I mean, if you could get rid of it. And especially because of updates when they update. They kicked up way too much space. All those unnecessary apps that are supposed to keep your things so safe and so secure. You know how many times I ran a device and never had any problems until they started making me have to do it? You know, the point I had to, to slow, to deliberately drag down my system slowly until I updated it. Even though a lot of times I ran out of space, but oh well, it's their damn fault, not mine. All these other apps that are installed in your system. You know, even though you might get updates every once in a blue moon on the app, it's your most favorite one that you absolutely use. And I don't mean a default app. If anybody says your favorite app is a default app, well, okay, whatever. There ain't no reason to let us uh, suffer. You know? We want to be able to enjoy it, not have to constantly update. You know, I want to, maybe we want a little bit more, but we don't want to have to sacrifice. It's ridiculous. Redundant and ridiculous. And yes, I will have Minecraft on PC eventually. So, if you're wondering where I'm at, I'm not even... I've got like 12 videos except for Final Fantasy 4 and uh, 5. I just need one more, I believe, on four to make it 12, I think. We'll, we'll go look at it right now. Yeah, I'm not, that's not the actual title to that, but let's worry about that later. Let's see. Yep. This one here needs two more to make 12. I'm not worried about that or fuzzed about it. I want to wait. I want to like wait until I get at least all this done, 
and then I'm going to start catching up on it. I pretty much, I'll probably have more updates than I give a crap about at this point because I'm making like a little mini series as well. I mean, well, technically they're not updates, but I, I don't know why I'm saying that. But that's probably because it's, I got the, the list of that. I probably should just rename it list, but I don't know if I ever will. I'll probably It's just a temporary list right now. And don't worry about anything you're seeing here, because right now, if you see anything out of the ordinary you haven't seen before, pretend like you didn't see it. Um, that is if it's not already out before this video comes out. Because otherwise, yeah, it might be a spoiler. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next episode. Until then, this has been Brian Barnagazzi. Let's